So we back with another video and today we got y'all boys with the best finishing badges in NBA 2K23. If you guys want me to do all the categories, all you gotta do is like the video. So I can do the shooting, playmaking, defensive. I'm working on doing the takeovers as well for current gen and next gen. So if you guys want all these videos, make sure to drop the likes, subscribe. Put in the comments down below though what you guys think is the best finishing badge and which one of the placements that you disagree the most with. But yeah, without further ado, if you haven't already liked the video, subscribe if you're new. I don't know what you're doing. I really would appreciate it. It does help a lot. And without further ado, no more talk. Let's hop into it. Let's go! Now, first things first, let's go over the finishing. When it comes to the finishing badges, we got the same tiers for all four of these categories broken, which is just something that either is just overpowered or needs to be patched. Top tier, you should be using. Usable, I can see some people using it or just like a build specific badge. Not something I don't ever see like, I'm not saying it's a bad badge. I'm not saying it's the greatest badge, but it's just like good. Not enough badge points, which is a badge that pretty much either is good but you should there's other badges that may be worse than it that you just need more or it's just like a badge you just shouldn't be using and don't use it's just a terrible badge that's simple so yeah um acrobat acrobat is a top tier badge you could even you could have said maybe a season or two ago it was broken um it may be back to being broken because they did do a a, a nerf to the paint contest again at the end of the last season for whatever reason um, I don't understand what 2K is doing with the game, but hey, Acrobat, I'm going to still say it's top tier because of the double clutches, but even if you're not doing double clutches, it's good for year rolls, spin layups, pretty much any acrobatic type of layup. That's simple. Area Wizard, that's another top tier badge. Pretty, going, just going to be really good for like catching lobs. So yeah, Area Wizard, but it's the only way you can also get put back dunks. It's going to be really good for put back dunks, so I would definitely say that's the top tier badge. Bat Down Punisher, Bat Down Punisher, I believe... Back down punisher is kind of tough. I would say back down punisher it has more uses than pretty much any other post score badges because I feel like only big men. Well, I feel like drop stepper is probably the next best one because you can get more uses out of that. Like if you're a strong guard build, you can get use out of back down punisher and drop stepper. Um, you can get use out of both, and I think they kind of do go hand in hand. Um, I would probably say back down punisher is a top tier badge because yeah, I feel like it's gonna make your strength way more noticeable when you put it on. Um, it's a really good badge for bigs. It's a really good badge for just strength builds, and it's a really good badge for post score. So yeah, that's simple. Bully, bully is okay. Um, I say it's usable at this point in the game because at this point in the game, it's people that know how to use it, and it's people that just think it's bad because they don't know how to use it. So I'm gonna just put it in okay. It's not like nothing crazy, but it's not terrible. The only thing I'll say about bully, I'm probably more lean to not enough badge points because majority of the time on next gen, it's a tier three badge. Current gen though, it's not like that. It's literally just based off badge points, kind of like how it was on next gen last year. So bully is gonna be usable for y'all. Next gen, not no badge points. That's simple. Dream shake. Dream shake is kind of valid now. They kind of made it like a ankle breaker, but for post post moves and pump fakes and stuff like that. So I like dream shake a little bit. It doesn't really give you a boost to like how much you make it off of stuff like that, but definitely dream shake is still really good, especially since they did nerf the pain contest. So now. It gives it a little bit more reason to use it and stuff like that. You also do draw a lot more fouls with Dream Shake too. So that's another great thing that comes with that badge, which kind of makes it a little bro broken. Um, drop Stepper. Drop Stepper is a badge I would definitely put in top tier. If, break if Back Down Punisher is up there, I don't think it's better than Back Down Punisher, but if you use it alongside Back Down Punisher, they are really, really good combination, to be honest. You can even just use Bronze, Back Down pun back, uh, Drop Stepper with, like, Gold or Hall of Fame, Back Down Punisher. But if you're using, like, Gold, Drop Stepper, and Gold, Back Down Punisher, you're just you're just toxic. It's that simple. But, yeah, definitely a really good combination. Fast Twitch. I feel like Fast Twitch only has a use for really taller bigs. Nobody else really should even be using this, to be honest. And it doesn't even make that big of a difference, in my opinion. I would say it's just a usable badge. The only thing I'll say for it, again... For the taller bigs, it's going to be not enough badge points for me because you may need it, to be honest, but, like, you're going to put on a rise up before you put on fast switch. Now, after fast switch, you can argue, or not after fast switch, after rise up, you can argue bully, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. But it's really on you. Do you rather fast switch or do you rather masher? Do you rather fast switch or do you rather rise up? Do you rather fast twitch and so on and so on 
I think most bigs would kind of rather masher, to be honest. That's what I think. Um, I'm going to be honest, after that last patch, even with that patch, masher got a huge buff because it kind of was needed for the big, big, uh, big tall centers. So, yeah, um, I think, I think fast twitch, if you're using, if you're using, um, masher and rise up, you probably gonna probably have to core rise up and then use masher and fast twitch. But at that point, I don't know how many badges you're going to have. You're going to need like 24 badges or like 26 badges minimum to even be able to do something like that. So I, I probably say, I probably have to say, I probably have to say it's usable if you are going to use it. But it's not like a top tier badge or anything. It's not like crazy. It's just kind of something that's needed for bigs. But for everybody else, it's not really a badge I would even consider. And for bigs, it may even be not a badge point. But I'm going to put it in usable. Fearless Finisher. Fearless Finisher is definitely a top tier badge. I'm not putting none of this in order. I'm just putting them in the tiers. It's just going to take too long if I do that. So yeah, top tier. Easily. Not debatable. Some people say that it actually does help you when it comes to being fatigued on dunks. That's why people, a lot of people like it. If it does that, then yeah, it's really goaded. It's literally just relentless finisher with contact layup uh, stuff. So that's really good. But I'm not 100% sure on that one, to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to say top tier. Giant Slayer, definitely a great badge for undersized guards. Um, this, is like a, this is like a badge that you really do need, honestly, if you're an undersized guard. Like Fast Twitch is a badge that's... I guess you kind of need it, but you don't really need it. Giant Slayer, you 100% need it if you're an undersized guard, and it's very, very broken. Like, if you combine Giant Slayer with Acrobat, it's one of the most broken combinations in the game. I would even argue it's more broken than Back Down Punisher and Drop Stepper for, like, big men and post wars, I guess you could say. Master, Master is a top tier badge um, for bigs, or, or, like, tall guards, all that type of stuff. Master is really, really good right now, I'm going to be honest. Um, and it's really kind of, uh, uh, after, after that one patch where they buffed the pain contest, I feel like Masher got a, like a real, real big buff because you kind of do need that badge now. Post spin technician. I think post spin technician is really usable. I'll put this at the top. Actually, no, I'm not ranking them in order, but yeah, it's definitely unusable. In, in if I was to rank it, it would be at the top of usable. It's not as good as drop server. It's not as good as back down punish because it's not like an automatic point, but it does get you around your defender at a good percent of the time depending on what tier you have it on and it's a really good badge it's just really build specific depending on what you are because if you are a strength build you're not going to really be able to use post spin technician because you do need post control to be able to do a post spin it's that simple like to do a good one now so it's kind of really more towards post scores than back down punisher and drop stepper whereas you can just have a lot of strength on your build and be really good with those two badges if that makes sense um, posterizer, posterizer, in my opinion, is the best badge we've went over so far. Um, it's gonna help you get a lot more content dunks. Uh, without it, you can get content dunks, but not to the same frequency as if you had bronze, silver, gold, and Hall of Fame. It's that simple. So yeah. Pro Touch. Pro Touch is a broken badge when it comes to a badge that's overpowered. When it comes to a badge, actually, let me throw posterizer up there because I forgot one aspect of posterizer. Posterizer also helps you dunk through traffic when you're not doing content dunks. So. When you see a lot of people going up with Limitless Takeoff, Limitless Takeoff Posterizer is one of the most deadly combinations in the entire game. Not even one up. It probably is the most broken combination in the game. Now, I have a hot take on um, this game. Honestly, last year, Rim Running was just as good, if not more broken, than it is this year. The thing, the, the big difference between this year and last year is shooting is nowhere near as easy. So, Last year, majority of people that was good was three hunting. This year, pretty much everybody is just rim running and shooting off of how people play it. So it's not really no difference to it. It's just this year, it's not whites just don't go in. Last year, a lot of whites went in depending on your three point rating. So that's like the big difference in this game. And I still, even then, I think it was just a little bit easier to shoot if you're talking about getting greens because sniper. There was some greens that wasn't even really greens because of the sniper badge, and they took that badge completely out. So, I do think that is an added thing to it, but posterizer is at an all-time high of need because of all how many how much people are just trying to rim run, rim run, rim run, and if they don't get the right animation, they want to get a contact dunk. That's something. So yeah, Rise Up, that's another badge that I would say is broken or overpowered. I don't think any of these badges really need a nerf, to be honest. Any of these specific badges, I just need to use overpowered badges. 
Um, Rise Up is another one. When it comes to standing dunks, very, very overpowered, to be honest. I think standing dunks have an argument to be more overpowered than posterizer or driving dunks. That's a hot take. But I think Lemon's Takeoff is definitely the best bad, so I'm not going to go too crazy. Slurry, that's a top tier bad. You could argue it's broken or overpowered, but I wouldn't go that far because there is a nerf to it where it comes to, like, a lot of the acrobatic lifts. You can still, even though it's, like, supposed to be unshippable from last year, you can still get ripped on a lot of times when you do a spin, layup, dunk, or whatever it's called. It's a hop, dunk, or whatever it's called. Because if somebody plays good defense in position, you will lose the ball still at a really high percent of the time, no matter if you have it hall of fame so yeah i do think slurry is very very broken in a lot of ways but there is, if you play good defense on it you can actually get stops that's what i'll say uh limitless takeoff that is literally that needs to it, it's needed to be patched since season one it hasn't been touched but yeah definitely the broke most broken badge in the game for finishing and that's going to be my finishing badge tier list but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video if you guys want more videos like this go ahead like the video make sure to subscribe if you're new like i said i can give you all the other categories as well so if you guys do want those videos make sure to support by dropping a like make sure to subscribe if you're new turn on the notification be the first of the video share this video see anybody think will help without further ado man it's your boy fits and i did man